what is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you saw my last video, it was of me working a 96 hour call shift. And if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click the link up here. A few of you guys were messaging me, asking me how I worked a 96 hour call shift when in the US residents are limited to 80 hour work weeks. And the short answer is I didn't. And here's how. So as many of you guys may know, working as a physician is full of long hours, many sleepless nights, and tons of holidays spent working. But what you may not realize is that residents are limited to the amount of hours they can work in a week in the United States. This actually first came about in 2003 via the Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education, also known as the ACGME. Further restrictions took place in 2011, which ended up restricting resident work hours to 80 hours per week. So let's go quickly over my work hour restrictions. There are a ton of rules and regulations regarding residency work hours, but I'm not gonna bore you with all these details, but I'm gonna hit you with some of the most important ones. Number one, duty hours must be restricted to 80 hours a work week. And I know what you guys are about to say, but Michael, how did you work 96 hours in the last video? The way I was able to do that is because the 80 hours a week are averaged over a four week period. So technically I could work 100 hours one week, followed by two weeks working, I don't know, 50 or 60 hours a week, followed by another 40 hour work week, and I would still come out to less than 80 hours a week averaged over a four week period. Furthermore, when I go home at the end of my call shift, that time when I'm on call at home does not count towards that 80 hour in hospital duty hours. Number two is residents must have one day free of duty every single week when averaged over a four week period. Number three is duty hours are not to exceed 24 hours of continuous duty for second year residents and above. And after a resident works a 24 hour shift, the resident must have at least 14 hours of duty free time before the next scheduled work period. So how have these new restricted work hours worked out for residents and their patients? Well, a new study released in July of this year compared two different groups of physicians, those who trained before 2003, when the typical work week was around 100 hours, and those who trained later under the new restrictions of 80 hours of work week. In the study, there were three quality measures examined, patient mortality within 30 days of being hospitalized, readmission rates, and hospital services used. The study found no significant difference between the groups. So what's my opinion on the 80 hour work week restriction in residency? I think it's important to work long hours and be exposed to seemingly every possible scenario of patient care during the limited time spent training. However, I do not feel that working long hours and extremely long shifts is a rite of passage, especially when the health of physician and patient care could be sacrificed as a result. The goal of residency and training is to be prepared as an attending physician and be capable of handling any possible patient presentation that comes through the door, within your respective field, of course. I think there is a fine line between maximizing time spent training and compromising clinical expertise and subsequent quality of patient care. However, with physician burnout on the rise, work hour restrictions in residencies will always serve a purpose. So in conclusion, I will leave you guys with this, which is what a friend of mine and young IR attending told me when I was applying for IR fellowships. He said, residency and fellowship is the last time in your professional career that someone will actually take the time out and teach you stuff. So you better soak it all in in the limited time you spent training. So on that note, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. If you like this video, leave a comment below, hit the like button, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next video.